So this is the solar boom that we've just been working on. We've now got all the panels fitted, or the panels that we are going to fit for the moment. I'm just going to show you the, uh, the wiring on the back. The two 24 volt panels are wired in series and of course connected via the yellow cable to the battery bank. The four 12 volt panels again wired in series and connected to the battery bank through the yellow cable there. The whole lot is designed so that it will be driven and track the sun. Things have moved on a pace uh, since the last part two and uh, we've got the rear frame in place now um, and the whole thing's tracking. It's uh, still work in progress as you can see but uh, let's have a go look at a few finer details. There's the back of the panels and there's the tra tracking frame and there's the motor and drive and that wheel runs round this circular track and as you can see it's just second hand concrete blocks semi levelled up The permanent magnet motor and gearbox drives through this chain to this 80 to 1 gearbox and out the shaft to the wheel. Permanent magnet means that if you turn the, the wires round, the polarity, so negative becomes positive and positive becomes negative, then the motor goes the other way round. Here's a closer view of the uh, the drive mechanism with the uh, the motor here, the chain, the gearbox, etc. Uh, this whole frame here is uh, is pivoted at the solar panel end, so that if the track here, if the track goes up and down a bit, the uh, the drive mechanism can follow it very easily and there's no strain put on anything. There are limit switches fitted and here's one of them. So when the the, uh, the tracker goes all the way that way then it comes against the stop and switches off. Now each of these has got a diode in it as well so you imagine the positive the diode is set so the positive can run through here it switches off. When the motor goes the other way round as soon as this gets away from the stop it would switch on and the motor would continue. There's a limit switch the other side but if this was still switched on, that limit switch wouldn't do anything. However, if we have a diode in here that only lets positive through on one of the wires, when the polarity is turned round, that diode effectively switches this off. So this can switch back on and it makes no difference because the diode stops the power going through to the limit switch. This is just an industrial micro switch. Very good they are. So the other one has got a diode in it as well. So that behaves in the other way. So in other words, that's set to let the positive through when the polarity is the other way round. So it'll run along and as you can see, it's up against that block of timber at the moment and we'll have a, uh, a better end stop at some point. This is all work in progress. I've been dealing with the Low Impact Living Initiative for a considerable amount of time, I don't know, eight, ten years, something like that. They're my publishers of the books. Anyway, they asked me to do a solar electricity video online course, just so that people don't have to travel so far 
to come to the uh, weekend courses. I'm going to put the link up on the, uh, the video details on the end of this YouTube video but um, it covers enormous amount of stuff batteries, wiring, inverters, grid tie, solar panels, diodes, trackers, um, all sorts of things and there's a significant contribution also from Lee Rose of Norfolk Solar about fitting uh, um, panels to a roof and uh, again a contri significant contribution by Norman Fitz on uh, how to make your own solar panels from damaged uh, solar wafers so they make the whole uh, set of videos complete <laughs>